Hi there, how are you guys today? If you're new to my channel, my name is Sigrid Soto. I am Creative Birdie, is what I call myself. And if you'd like to join the Creative Birdie family, I call you guys Creative Birdies. With that said, I'd like to say hello Creative Birdies. How are you guys today? Um, today, I'm just here for my intro for this little segment here just to show you guys where we ended up in what you guys will be watching next if you want to watch next there we go so not so good at watercolors this is all done in watercolor and towards the end I show you other things that I add so it, this is still considered a mixed media watercolor um, in the next segment you'll be seeing all the supplies I use and I'll be walking and along with you guys and talking so I hope you join please subscribe hit the thumbs up it's a free way to show me that you enjoyed my video and hit the thumbs down if you did it either way it's okay just use it as a bookmarker for yourselves uh, to notify yourselves if you watched or watched the video or not um, share with your friends and hope you enjoy and I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys are all well and safe. Bye, guys. We'll see you in a second. I forgot to say, this painting that I did, watercolor painting, if that's what it's even called, I'm not even sure, it was inspired when, in a day, one of those days that I was just having a very painful day. So... It's my interpretation of my feelings, plants, basically beauty with tears. And I was able to express myself and um, get over what I was feeling at the moment. I may or may not get into those emotions uh, in a minute or two. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Today's another day. This was created. Um, uh, uh, June 1st, date is right there, 2020. I had to count my fingers. <laughs> okay, so if you want to see me create this and hopefully inspire you guys, then stick around. Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing a watercolor and I'm going to show you how I tape up the edges with washi tape. Now I have this washi tape in this dispenser. Uh, the dispenser was sent to me by Janet, rest in peace. And it's just a random tape she didn't like and I didn't really care for either. So we're going to use it up, and this is where we're going to use it on. So here are my DeWalt, is that what they're called? I'm not even sure. You guys will know more than me, and Faber-Castell. I not what they're called, DeWalt. Um, some paintbrushes, Rag. Derwent, ink tents. And then those that's my Van Gogh watercolor paints. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video. I usually don't do voiceovers and I usually don't speed through my videos, but this creation that I created was on a hard hard day for me and in my life. Um, this art piece represents a broken heart, hurt feelings, depression, anxiety,
and I wanted to express myself that day and get my feelings kind of put away or dealt with so they don't reappear in the future. I may or may have not been able to accomplish that. Anyways, so it is a piece of art in my eyes showing a hidden eye and to me it's a crying eye in plant in a plant I like to propagate plants and at this point in time in my life that's what I've been doing propagating plants in water allowing roots to run and then propagating from those and so on and so forth and that's what's been keeping my mind off of things I'm sure a lot of you guys as myself are dealing with the uncertainty oh boy the cat the dogs want to catch the cat no good girl go over there go lay down no leave honey alone go go so I, as I was saying I want I put my, not I want, I did, I put my feelings, uh, my way of expressing myself into this piece, and the eye is supposed to be somewhat hidden, but not hidden, and I definitely wanted to put some teardrops, I wasn't sure how many at this point in time, as I'm recording, I was fresh out of a panic attack, an anxiety attack, um, that lasted well over four hours. And the day I'm doing this voiceover, it's been a good seven days. And as you can tell, I'm still having a hard time talking about it. But the feelings and the emotions at the time are not as strong, so that's a good thing. So, as I was saying is, if you're... You've been if you've been here to my channel, I do loads of DIYs. I have loads of playlists you guys can watch. I'm not a professional watercolorist at all. I just love to art. Oh, I think I want to tell you guys the colors I'm using, right? First green. Actually, I can't tell you the colors. I can't see the colors. I wonder if I pop it out. Oh, I just popped one out if you heard that. Mm, nope, no color. There's numbers. But that's not going to help any. Just an olive -y green and I'm just m mixing colors in the palette on the side and I want them in the earth tone colors and I managed to get that while creating this piece of art I thought to myself I want to I feel like I mean excuse what I just said not I want to at the time of creating this watercolor art my feelings felt like they were in a box and I felt like I was exploding and that's why I put those boxes down there on the side none of this was premeditated none of this 
was inspired by anything other than what I was going through that day. What triggered me was an argument between one of my daughters and myself. Okay. I think I stuck some kind of red in there. And it just became a very unique color. No. I don't have a rhyme or reason why I do the things I do. I just go with my gut, my feelings, my instinct, and my want. Uh, my want to be able to create and express. And these are, in, in my interpretation, my feelings in a box, ready to explode. When I even do acrylic paints, I usually gather whatever acrylic color I'm using and throw it in almost absolutely everything I'm doing. So in order to camouflage the eye, I wanted to make the eye seem like it was a pod in a flower. And it just so happened that this brush, the bristles of the brush, are damaged. But to my surprise, that damaged bristle really, really helped me express my feelings and helped me make these little designs that you guys are seeing right here. Now, the video is 34 minutes and 22 seconds long. You can hear me talk, talk, talk or you can mute me and fast forward or however you want of course um, I'm just making little dots sometimes I make mindless markings to buy time for the next thing that I'm gonna do and then I'm just using some brown I was testing it in the leaf before I put it in the pupil. Um, when I create art, I don't create... How can I say? I want to express myself. I don't create art that looks exactly like the atom... at atomy? Autonomy? I don't know the word of a real human. It's just what I'm feeling. Anatomy. Yeah, I think it's anatomy. See, I test it everywhere. <laughs> or I just I just put it everywhere whatever color it is. That's the beauty of art for me is for me I don't have to be a professional. I don't even have to know what I'm doing. I am just allowing and giving myself permission to try to put my feelings onto paper whatever it is I'm feeling at the moment. Good, bad, happy, sad inspired, whatever it is. Some things I just put down, like, like those little lines right there. And I don't even know where to go from there. And I go grab the same color and I put it in the eye. And this piece that we're creating, look at those designs right there. And that, again, is because the brush is damaged.
What was I saying? Oh, again, this piece is not thought through. I'm actually sitting and creating this piece at this time with my heart literally crushed. And I'm most likely crying. Sometimes I just stay quiet and observe. Um, what I mean is, during creating this piece, at times I would just sit and observe my feelings and just allow myself the permission to just mess around with the paintbrush. Mm, that color there is like a mustard. I cut a lot of these parts out because, um, like I mentioned, it's about um, two hours long. Now if you guys want to watch the full two hours, let me know and I will upload it. Also, I would like to say that this piece takes a turn many times. And the reason of, because of that is because I like to allow my pieces to make messes and mess ups. Because usually if I allow it myself to work through it, it becomes a really pretty piece. That was the Faber Castell, I think they're called. Jelly rolls, I think they're called. Let me look. Gelatos. Faber Castell Gelatos. I have a link in my Amazon if you'd like to purchase those. They're really great. I love them. It's just another form of watercolor. Uh, another medium. So, yellow is becoming one of my favorite colors. And there's the turn that I said. In creating the background and washing the background in yellow, what I did to those flowers started, of course, bleeding because it's watercolor. I'm a novice in this, but at the same time, I am very grateful to create with watercolor. I'm liking what is coming out of it. So the bleeding on those two little flowers you've seen there, I actually really enjoy the bleeding look. Now there's just a little jar I'm going to add water to. Very little water. And then we're going to use these things here. The ink tents. We didn't end up using the, those acrylic paints. And we didn't end up using anything there but the glitter, which is that one right there. It's beautiful glitter. And I did use the acrylic white, so it is kind of considered a mixed media piece. Now, at the time of filming this, I didn't understand ink, tents, pencils. I didn't know that they were water activated. So I tried to use, and it worked a little bit. Um, I forget what this thing is called, the blendy, I forget, stubby, a stubby. It worked just fine. Then I love this, the Jane Davenport marker, and I love the shapes that came out. Just random doodles, guys. I doodled and played and created this piece. And really, really love the piece. And I jump here and there and jump into the eye, jump back into 
um, the plant back and forth constantly because I just do. Now I know I owe you guys a video on clay. Just haven't been up to it. I apologize, I've been lagging here on YouTube. It's just I don't find mm, making content when it's fake or acted out. I can't do it. I really do have to be in the mood to share with you guys. I need to make sure that my camera is still going. It sure is. Okay. See, even though I figured out the ink tents or watercolors, quite a few times you're going to see me testing it on the back of the watercolor paper I'm using. And even then, I'm still testing how it works because I, I just don't have it in, I just don't have enough memory in my head to keep it in my head. So you'll see me do this a few times. <laughs> it just doesn't absorb. I don't have enough, like I said, storage in my memory. It's all wasted. It's all gone. Well, I shouldn't say that because it's not really true. So I'm just creating vines, and that is a something, something, something. You need to have to pause it and check. Prima color or Stabilo, maybe? I have no clue. I don't learn my art supplies. I just use them. I learn as I go, and I forget as I go. That's basically the easiest way to put it. And then the next time I use them, you're going to see me do the same thing. which would be trying to figure out if how they work. That's just the way I work. Even in the kitchen, I can never do the same thing twice. I just do what I want to do at the time. Don't even pay attention. I don't follow recipes, honestly. I just do what I feel at the moment. Like today I created oriental food. And everybody loved it, and they asked me to repeat it, but I'm not going to be able to, and they know it, and that's why they ask. See, here I go again, figuring out if it's watercolor. <laughs> and that's okay. That means everything's new again. <laughs> Anyways, it's a beautiful green. I don't know if these ink tents come in different sets of shades or what. I don't I don't know. What is that there, sir? I think that's just a regular pencil. And I didn't even know that. You see? What is this? <laughs> I'd probably try water on it as well. And this is just some random colored pencil I had and I was wondering if that was watercolor and it wasn't it's a really pretty color um, let's see if I have it near me I can tell you what it is and I don't have it near me I got quite a few minutes to go and I really need the u to use the restroom <laughs> Oh, TMI? That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. We all pee through our asses. <laughs> Wait, no. We don't pee through our asses. We poop through our asses. I don't know where I'm getting. Okay, so the pink is from a brand called Prang, and it's number 33. And it looks like it would be pink, but it's actually hot pink. Like a fuchsia hot pink. It's really pretty. 
don't worry, I will come into the screen and there we go. Then I thought to myself, what if I wet the tip of the intense, will it work? And it sure did. And it's more vibrant, it blends easier, it's just gorgeous. If you're wondering if you should buy these, I say do it. Do it, do it, do it. Oh. I've been going to physical therapy. I'm still injured. My physical therapy is doing great now. I had to change therapists. I had to change the whole company. I had to go somewhere more professional where they knew what they were doing with me and my injury. And that ended up being Cedar Cyanide here in Beverly Hills. And my therapist, Eric, is amazing. He is really pinpointed what was wrong with me and my injuries and all that stuff, which I can't go into detail because I do have a lawsuit against the person that made the choice to run me over. And it was no accident and at all. It was actually a choice she made. I can say that 100% because I was there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm suffering the consequences. Um, but the good news is I'm not hopeful. Well, I don't think I'm injured for the rest of my life. I think that it's just going to take time. Okay, so here's another thing that took a turn. I love the way that I came out. But then I took it too far. Right there would have been perfect. Even right there would have been perfect. And then it's okay right there. But then I kept going. And in my mind while I was creating this, it was going to be a small star that ended up getting bigger. And bigger and bigger and bigger. The squeaking you guys hear is my chair. And then the dots I love too. And I know my dots are not perfect and that's perfectly fine with me. They are imperfect like I am. But we end up fixing the eye. And what I'm doing here is highlighting certain parts. Like I mentioned, I did cut out so much. And you the part I did cut out as well is where I placed my paint, which is just on the washi tape up in the corner right there. And then we're going to fix the eye. We already started fixing the eye off, off camera, but then I show you some parts. And we're almost at the end of our video, and I really want to tell you guys how much I appreciate your support. I really see you guys sharing my videos, watching my ads. I'm so very grateful for that. Continue, please, sharing my videos on your social media or emailing them to your friends. You can do that. There's a button right underneath that says share. And then it says um, where you want to share it, Facebook, Pinterest and all sorts of other places and then if you click more show more or the more button it'll give you the option of sending it my video to somebody through email just in case you didn't know and if you still can't understand how that works you can um, google or on here on youtube you can put how to share videos from youtube onto an email it's very simple. You learn everything here on YouTube. And then I'm just doing finishing, finish, finishing touches. I really got zoomed in there, didn't I? <laughs> if 
finishing touches here and there. I'm still using watercolor. So anyways, thanks you guys for supporting me. And I always want to be able to support you guys. And with that said, I have tons of playlists. I'm always here for you guys. You can play me for hours. You can put me on autoplay. And um, I've been told people do that. So I'm just letting you guys know. Here's the most satisfying part to me. I've never taped off an art piece in my life. Didn't know how this was going to turn out for me. I've seen it done. Just I've never done it. I enjoy the crisp edges. I really do. And here's the glitter. And I'm just going to let it drip everywhere. Even just this part was about 10 minutes long. But I cut it down just to a few seconds. And I just let it go everywhere. And that big blob right there under the eye, to me that's my tears gathering. All in all, I really, really love this art piece. And I guess all art comes from some sort of feeling. No matter what the feelings are, that's where it comes from. Now I could have continued going on and on in this piece, but I decided to stop at some point. And I am going to frame this and put it up in my living room. Thanks you guys so very much. I appreciate you guys so very much. And as soon as the post office opens, you guys will get your postcards from Patreon. If you'd like a original art piece, join my Patreon. It's under $8 and that includes shipping. And that includes a one-of-a-kind postcard painted by me. You never know what you're going to get. I don't send out monthly, I send out every four to five months. So if you're with me for four months, you get four cards. One month, you get one card. So on and so forth, every four to five months. But with this new way of life right now, our post office is closed. Thanks for hearing me chitter chatter and go on and on and on but this piece is basically done I'm just finishing up the eye and adding little highlights here and there and talk to you guys soon remember wear your mask I am one to say continue wearing your mask continue disinfecting everything just continue as you were at the beginning because this is not over. I don't believe it's over until we have a vaccine. And it's real. Sure is. Okay, talk to you guys later. Thanks for being here. And the video will continue for a few more seconds. And then I'll see you in the next video with whatever else I come up with. Bye guys.